My highlights of 2019 in geography, STEM, science, education, and GIS. First of all, never stop exploring. Also, never stop taking geeky, nerdy pictures and being true to yourself. I published a book with co-authors, Spatial Thinking in Environmental Contexts, this year. I was very proud of that and very pleased to be a part of that. Hey, I was poster child for the 2020 Education Summit. Can I put that in my CV? I played lots of geeky songs, including G-I-S Day, ba-da, ba-da-da-da. Very passionate about walking and created a walkable walkability survey and story map. Here is George Mason University, simple Chinese fast food chain, so be critical of the map data. Interesting. Here is the original spatial thinking game that many of us played when we were infants and toddlers. I visited lots of great instructors. This is a high school teacher. I visited classrooms, students, programs, deans, provosts, administrators, wonderful people all over the world. I visited about 30 campuses this year, University of Colorado, Clemson University, University of West Georgia, University of Chicago. Saw lots of great people, programs, and maps, including this map with native names in Canada. Perched a lot of GIS and geography books, which was painful, but I saved this. If you know what this is, just jot me a note. And I also hung on to this one. I just, I couldn't part with some of these old treasures. Peace, love, maps. That's what it's all about, folks. Making the world a more positive place through geotechnologies. Here's me hanging out at the National Council for the Social Studies Conference and operated several exhibits in several different conferences and went on and on, probably bored people to tears with my ramblings about why geospatial technology can actually help us build a better world. But very pri privileged and pleased to be with wonderful colleagues, new and old, all over the world. And yeah, geography rules. And I also uh, was very pleased to visit 19 or so latitude and longitude confluence points, including this one in Georgia. Here is me having exciting times in the laundry room of a hotel. Wild times with geography and posing with uh, the Esri map dude. I also started using a new Picture This artificial intelligence app, and that's great for field work, citizen science, Met some wonderful graduate students, including this one from Clemson University. We had a great time at GIS Day, and uh, together with about 250 or 300 uh, people from all over the community and all over the university and all over the region. Anyway, what I say is get out there on the landscape, whether it's rural or urban, get out there and explore. Appreciate our Earth, take care of our Earth, do the right thing. Do the next best thing. Do the next big big thing. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. So get out there and explore and enjoy. Ah, look at this. Made some maps, no surprise. In ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, developed a whole set of 10 ArcGIS Pro lessons. And here's why I believe geotechnologies are essential for learning and essential for the planet. Had a, a couple of cold brews. Maybe not what you think. This is coffee. And... Here's me on Wisconsin. Was very pleased to visit Wisconsin along with other states this year, probably around 20 or 25 states, along with three countries. This looks like a tin, a triangulated irregular network behind me. Here's one of our exhibits at the Applied Geography Conference. But back to the travels. Ah, oh, Earth, what's not to love? Finally visited the Green Bank, West Virginia radio telescope array. I've always wanted to see that. Oh, look at this scene, not too far away from Green Bank. Three countries this year, besides the USA, New Zealand, Australia, good on you, mate, and Germany, Deutschland. Saw lots of airports, but that was all in the effort of spreading, fostering, nurturing geotechnologies and spatial thinking and critical thinking in all levels of education, primary, secondary, community college, technical college, university, libraries, museums. Met a cute tot with a GIS shirt. What's not to love about that? Ooh, finally saw Lake Superior for the first time since I was a kid. And, oh, look at this. Going through the woodlands, indeed. And again, it was a very good year, a varied year. We had lots of changes in technology, maps, wrote a course with my colleague on the living atlas of the world and here's a tribute to buddy holly one of my all-time musical heroes got some new geography glasses this year 
And if you don't do geography and GIS folks or science, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you over the head with this zucchini. No, just kidding, wouldn't do that. But seriously, get out there and, and start using these tools. Here's me at the Corn Palace. I was at the South Dakota GIS conference, so I had to make a stop in the Corn Palace. And here's me at a high school promoting geotechnologies with a group of educators in their professional development opportunity. Make some cool maps daily is what I say, folks. And here I am posed at a globe. I love globes of all kinds in art and in displays. Map this. Here's me out at a cabin in Colorado. I love this. This was at UC San Diego. Freestyle therapy, and you can play a actual record album. Went on some nice runs with some special people this year. Geospatial inquiry. It's very important. Look into it. Was also pleased to have several chapters and several key books including this one, saw several of these topographic sand tables. This one at Northern Illinois University. I love those things. I want one in my house. Those things are so wonderful to learn about topography, landforms. The AAG this year was in Washington, D.C. This is one of my favorite photos. I flew to GIS Airport, and get this, I was in 3D, see 3D, 3D GIS in New Zealand. The world's first sunrise at about 179 degrees east longitude. Hey, real groovy, man. Get out there and make some maps and do some spatial analysis. Hey, I love moms. Moms rule. Look, my mom made me this geographic placemat. And here are some students at the University of Northern Colorado. Here's me laying on the ground at 10 degrees east in Deutschland in Germany. And one of the drawings I drew on the board there about how GIS actually works. I also visited the ECOSA Institute, Geodesign in Northern Arizona. And again, lots of travels, again, trying to spread the good news about geography, science, STEM, GIS, and spatial thinking. Thanks, and I hope you had a good year too. Go out and make a positive difference on our planet.